Hey guys, Sean Klinger with Vital Max. Today is a review of the X Brand Lucid Goggle. So, this is a brand new, all new goggle from X Brand. And uh, what's pretty cool is that they made the jump into the rigid lens goggle category, that kind of injection molded lens that, that Oakley started years ago with their air brake. So, the main thing is that this is an all new goggle. I mean, there's a lot of features on here that are very unique to this goggle. It's not a, a copy of anything else out on the market. You don't see any of these features on anything else. So starting with um, some of the things that make it different, uh, the retention system is a whole different way to hold on to this uh, goggle lens. There's these two tabs that you slide up. They kind of get out of the way so that you can remove the lens super easy. One of my other favorite features of this goggle is the nose guard. Typically, I immediately remove nose guards on goggles because they stick out far and they normally make contact with the helmet. Or uh, if the helmet has a nose guard, it's kind of like you got to pick one or the other. Uh, as you can see, the Lucid nose guard is completely flush. That's a cool feature. I've left that on there. It works with all helmets that I've tried. Um, speaking of helmets, this goggle, I, I would say it's a, a nice and large goggle without being obsessively big. It fits in all the helmet uh, goggle ports that I've tried. I've tried 6D, uh, the latest Bell, um, Alpine Stars, Arai. So no goggle helmet issues. Uh, it's not so big that it can't fit in certain ones. Um, I also, a huge thing that I love about this goggle is that it doesn't plug my nose. The if, if you wear the Scott Prospect goggle, it's a little tall, like top to bottom, where it rests on your forehead to where it rests on your nose. And when I adjust my helmet, it tends to push the goggle into my nose and then um, I can't breathe very well through my nose. This goggle, um, the, the area of the nose foam sticks up quite a bit and is nice and soft, so it doesn't pinch off my nose. I could breathe really well with this goggle. Uh, field of view is massive left to right up and down you can see everything um, you don't see the goggle it doesn't bother you there the curvature is a little bit small for my face but i kind of pull it wider when i put it on the goggle and then it sets in which is good i'd rather have it too small than too big if it's too big you're going to worry about gaps and stuff speaking of gaps there's outriggers these guys um, allow for the goggle strap to go flush the helmet and then push the goggle uh, into the goggle port and set it deep against your face so there's no sealing issues. There's a, a tri-layer face foam, so three layers of foam there, different kinds with fleece. The fleece is very comfortable. It's not as super premium plush as maybe the 100% Armega goggle, which is very, very soft, um, but this is close enough. One uh, con I have for the fleece is that it's red. Uh, it would be better if that was black, at least for me, because I notice it is a little distracting to have that red on the inside, a lighter color uh, against your face. You can kind of notice it sometimes. Ventilation is excellent. I would say I didn't have any problems with fogging on cold mornings. I didn't have any uh, overly sweaty days where uh, I felt like, you know, it wasn't airing out and it was too hot. Yeah, so the price is $99 right at that $100 mark. There's a few goggles that are more, like the Armega, the Fox View. Um, obviously, both of the Oakleys, the Frontline and the Airbrake, they cost more. I don't think that you're getting more bang for your buck for those goggles than what you can get for here. Um, some of the other rigid lens goggles on the market are a little bit cheaper. I mean, the Liat, I think they have some for 90 but I think this is a, a, a good premium goggle that you can that would last a long time you can get a mirrored lens or this dark smoke lens and uh, swap them out uh, really easy to maintain really easy to clean uh, big wide goggle strap so not not a ton of complaints and um, I just I also think they really look cool it's a it's a cool different design that doesn't look like any other goggle out there and I'm really happy with it so I would say kudos to X brand uh, for coming out with their own design completely different that uh, that actually works so if you want to see more reviews go to vitalomex.com check our out our product section if you're on youtube click like and subscribe thanks for watching